What's up guys, today we are going to have a look at how to build a shopping basket using Laravel Livewire. So what we're going to be building, let's quickly have a look. Uh, we have a list of products, uh, then we go to one of the products, we add it to the basket, you can see the number updates uh, right at the top here, uh, next, with the, next to the button. Uh, we can obviously uh, add more than just one product. Uh, there we go. So you can see we now have five products. We can increase the number in the basket. As you saw, when I clicked the button, it revealed the basket itself. While we adding, you can see the total is updating. Uh, then we can remove as well. The moment we get to one and hit uh, minus button that will remove the product from a basket. If you add it back, you also obviously can use this remove button. Checkout button is just a prop, so whatever you're going to decide with uh, the checkout, uh, it's not going to do anything. That's going to be entirely up to you. What we're going to be focusing on is actually displaying the displaying the list of products. We already have the list of products displayed because they, the exercise files do that for us. Uh, but uh, we'll be working on the functionality where we can actually add to the basket. Uh, remove, uh, increase, decrease uh, quantity, obviously making sure the total works, removing the, the items as well, and uh, making this button, this uh, shopping uh, cart button here work as well. So the first thing we need to do is to look at the exercise files, which are available on github.com, uh, ssd-tutorials, and then we have a shopping-basket-laravel-livewire. And what you can obviously do is either clone directly or fork it and clone to your uh, local machine. Then the, the installation process is very simple. Obviously, we're cloning. Then we seed into the directory. We install all the composer dependencies. Uh, we copy the env file example into the .env and generate the key for the application. Then, because during this course I'm going to be using SQLite rather than playing with the, the MySQL database. If you're using MySQL, obviously, uh, you can ignore this and make sure that obviously you set up your MySQL connection uh, correctly in the env file. Uh, I'm just touching, creating, in other words, a simple database file uh, under the database directory. Then we migrate everything that we have and also seed the records at the same time. So we have the list of all these records available, obviously dummy records with some prices. And then we install all the NPM dependencies and compile the files to make sure that we have some styling available to us. Okay, so your project, once you've done all this, should look like this. Uh, you'll see the basket. Nothing happens when you click on the items. You will see the list of uh, auto-generated records, the products. If you click on it, you will be able to get to the page of the product. But obviously, clicking on any of the buttons does, does nothing. So uh, that's what we're going to be working during this course. Let's now go to the editor. And let's just quickly have a look at what we have. So if I open our env file, you can see I've removed all the database variables, only left the connection for the SQLite. So that's what I'm going to be using during this course. Then what we've also done, if we open composite.json, uh, you will see under the outer load section that I've added a helpers file, which is under the app directory. And that is uh, for this uh, simple integer to decimal uh, function when we basically formatting the integer as a floating point. Uh, we will also use this file uh, later on when we're going to add another helper function. So that's there. Product model, you can see we have formatted price attribute we've created. So rather than displaying the price, which is going to be generated as an integer, if we just open database uh, migration, sorry, no, it's going to be within the seeds product. Uh, wrong factories. You'll see that I'm just using the, the number, the integer between 100 and uh, 5,000. So uh, that's what is going to generate for the price for each of the products when we are seeding the records to the database. And obviously then I'm using this function from the helpers to make sure that it's formatted as a decimal point. A, what have we got next? User we're not using at all, so we could remove this uh, from these exercise files, but I've just left it there. Uh, we also have our controller for the product when we are displaying list of products, and then we're displaying the product itself. Obviously, if we check the roots, web.php, uh, here's where we have them. So landing page with all the records, and then the product uh, with the binding, uh, model binding uh, in, the, in the root as well. Now, if we have a look at the package the JSON, you'll see we only have some basic packages. I'm using uh, Tailwind CSS for these exercise files, but that's pretty much everything. We're only gonna use some 
styling because if you check the resources, uh, you'll see that we don't have JS directory at all. That is because this whole course will only touch on PHP. We're not going to write a single line of JavaScript. Uh, Livewire will take care of all the interactions between a server and a client. Uh, so within the SaaS, I've just included a Tailwind base components and utilities. Nothing uh, custom, just straight Tailwind. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything. Obviously, Tailwind file, I've just added uh, for the board the uh, last and responsive. And then Webpack, obviously, making sure that Tailwind is also included in the post CSS. And I think that's everything that's been customized. So let's quickly have a look at uh, where we're going to start. If we open the browser and navigate to Livewire, uh, laravel-livewire.com, and we're going for the quick start. So first of all, we need to install the Livewire, so Composer Require, and let's just open the terminal and type Composer Require Livewire forward slash Livewire. And let's just, while this is happening, let's just go and see what we need to do next. We need to copy the styles and scripts. So styles going ahead, scripts are going uh, right before the closing body tag. So I'm going to go to the resources. Oh, I didn't obviously show you. We obviously have some basic template as well for the layout, as well as landing page view uh, for the products and the, the product itself. So if I go to the app.blade.php, what we need to do is include those blade styles and then a live wire script as well right before the closing body so that is going to go here we can now save and close this file for the time being and then when we're going to start creating the component we're just going to call php artisan make live wire uh, colon live wire and then the name of the component we're going to work with but okay so that's installs that's cool so that's what we're going to start with and the first component we're going to do is going to be our add to basket button so add to basket button okay let's see what this has generated i just need to and there we go so under the views we have live wire with our view add to basket button and then if we go under app we go uh to the http live wire and we have our component class as well so let's now open our show view and we have this basket here you can see starting with inline flex rounded shadow small if we just cut all of this and paste it inside of our view in between this opening actually we can put it directly in like this overwriting what's in the file if we now save it and close it for now what we're going to do going back to our show.blade file we are going to now include this component so we're going to start live wire colon and we go for add to basket button and now this component will take product id product id which will take using our product variable and its id uh, okay so that's our component inside of the uh, show view but what we need to do now because we are passing this uh, product ID we need to make sure that the mount method is present on our component class and to do this we just simply add new public function called mount and this one will take integer representing product ID and it won't return anything so void let's add some dog blocks uh, mount component and here we're going to just initialize it. So uh, product ID equals product ID. Property protected. Now we need this to be public because we want this to be available between the calls as well. Uh, render, I'm just going to quickly say it returns a view and render component. And if we now save it, let's preview everything in a browser, see if it's working, refresh the page, and there we go. Our uh, button is still there, so it's still working. Obviously, it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't uh, applied any functionality to it yet, but it's still displaying where, it's, uh, where it was displaying before. If we open our app.blade, you'll see that we have our button, which is in the header, also embedded within this file, which uh, we should probably export to the, uh, to the component as well. So what we're going to do again is PHP artisan uh, make live wire. 
and we're going to call it uh, basket button. And that's been generated. So let's just open this file. There we go. If we now copy this button and let's remove these divs because we don't actually need them. Let's paste it inside of this file, save and close it. Now we can just include this component. So it's going to be a live wire uh, basket button. Uh, save it. If we preview everything in the browser, the button's still here, so it's fine. Now, the next thing is obviously our basket itself. So what we can do is cut all this in a moment, obviously once we've created the com, uh, components. So we have make live wire, and this one is going to be called simply basket. And there we go. We have class as well as the the blade template. So if we now cut all this, we start with this block gray, cut it all. Actually, I can close the terminal here. You can see now basket and let's replace. Actually, we're going to use this wrapping div because we will be displaying this. Uh, oops, I must have done something wrong. So let's cut it again. Let's paste it. There we go. We will be displaying uh, this basket conditionally, and obviously, component needs to have some uh, some HTML. So this wrapping diff is going to stay here. But here later on, we're going to apply the if statement, uh, depending on whether it's visible or not. Uh, okay. So now let's just remove these divs and let's add this component. So it's going to be live wire and it's going to be basket. And basket doesn't take anything. If we now preview everything in the browser, still here and on the list of products as well. So now we've extracted all this HTML to its own components. Uh, in the next video, we're going to start with our first one, which is adding the products to the basket.